Okay. First question is, tell me, tell me a little bit about your little cave. Um, first of all, it's not a cave. It's an arch. I don't know. We were just flying the other day, and I just spotted one, like a sick one. Okay, we're ready for Eric to drop in five. So it's like just this little like ogre hole. Three. As soon as I turned in, I, I, it looked too small. I didn't even know if you could really get through it. Eric and I, we had finally got up to BC in the Alpine. We are sitting in the potato fields here in uh, British Columbia. Beautiful British Columbia, I might add. We had both helis running and everyone was feeling healthy and ready to go film and get some good riding in out there. So we're in Canada and, and we call these like convective clouds, right? So Ejax, so good on his board. It's just amazing how big he can go. Like one of the shots, he goes 20 feet, totally smashes through a pillow, then another 15 feet down to the landing. It's like one of the best shots in the video. It's like only Ejac could have done that. We came across this one wind lip, and it looked perfect for sending some good tricks off from. I'm freaking amping, been sitting for like seven, 10 days, and haven't really been able to ride, so finally we're like out in the mountains again like super fired up. And then we noticed that there's this roll up above it and we could boost off from the roll and kind of make it into a double line. Filming it from the Cineflex just brought it to that next level. Just the way the features line up there is really cool. I love that terrain. It's very playful. I wouldn't change anything as far as the movie goes. We didn't have too many plans going into it, and I think that's the best way to go about it, is not have too many preconceived notions. Go with the flow. That's how we all like to ride and film. That was kind of our mission statement from the beginning. I'm stoked and proud of how it all went down.
Eric and I were, were in the heli and he was on the left side as we were banking around this one ridge and he saw this perfect arch. I've studied it so much. I'm so prepared to ride it right now. It's like, I, I was ready to just ride it just now and not even do this free run. I'm like, I've seriously stared at this thing for so many hours. You guys know, it's all I've been talking about. There's not too many arches to ride through in the world, I don't think. We're gonna hit the arch. It's gonna work? Oh yeah. He's looking like a beaut. When you're going into it, all you can see is the very rider's right edge, which definitely isn't big enough to make it through. It's really sketchy. Yeah, from here, I don't really know exactly where to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah. I'd like to be able to try and give back a little bit through uh, the Mountain Light Project, which is a non-profit that I'm starting with my lady. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and then otherwise, just keep shredding good powder with the friends and not worrying so much about getting a shot and just enjoying the ride.